you have a few options when it comes to auto grading or grading. As mentioned in a previous video, you can use multiple choice questions and use answers here to have students answer them. You can also use these fill in the blank boxes. And if you have auto grade turned on, the students will see when they've gotten an answer correct or not, and you can see it as well. But sometimes you want students to answer questions that cannot be auto graded like this, some reading response type questions. In this case, you can use the fill in the blank boxes, but not fill in the correct answer on any of them. Just leave them a spot to answer their questions. Then you can go back and grade each student's slide individually. In this case, I've made this slide worth six points, one point for answering it correctly, and then one point for using complete sentences, starting with a capital letter, a period, and so on. So you can give students grades based on that. So you can see I've given this student three out of the six points, and I did that by just typing three out of six, and I've counted off for not using punctuation or a capital letter, and then they didn't get any points for this question because they didn't attempt it. So three points out of six.